As a HR manager, you should also know how to go with the first aid. We are supposed to promote the health and safety measures in the organization. There should be a very healthy atmosphere in the workplace. The reason was the lack of safety measures taken by the management. Hello everybody, a warm welcome to One and All. I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Welcome to all the students for this session where I'm going to explain you about the second chapter and it's all about the Human Resource Management 4 where we'll go with the Employee Health and Safety. Now, what exactly is Employee Health and Safety means to a HR student? Here we need to understand that it is not just recruiting, selecting and appraising the employees is only the duty of the HR manager. HR manager responsibility is even more than that. That is even we are supposed to consider the health and safety of each and every individual who is there in our organization. It can be the employer, the manager, the supervisor, the clerk, the laborer, the watchman, each and everybody without leaving a single person. We are supposed to take care of their health and their safety measures. So what exactly we are supposed to do as a HR manager? We need to know few of the guidelines which is given by the government of India as well as we should also have some kind of our own work ethics where we are supposed to promote the health and safety measures in the organization. Though it is costly but let me tell you more than life what exactly the cost will be. So this is what you are supposed to know when we go with the introduction of health safety that is in many organization health and safety responsibilities are within the human resource department that means what you people have a kind of authority a kind of power that is you can actually measure how much percent the organization is taking care of the health and safety of the workers if you feel that the organization is not taking care you have all the rights to question the organization and to actually equip the organization to give more health and safety measures in the organization that means you have the capacity you have the power you can do this Next thing, when we go with this health and safety measures, what usually happens is life and money. We should never compare. One's life and one's salary is totally different. The thing is, whatever the salary or whatever the package a person is actually getting in the organization, that is different. But once the life goes, we can't give it back. That's the reason we are supposed to be very, very serious about health and safety, which is supposed to be the basic things in any of the organization so the hr manager should actually take all the measures so that he or she can take care of their employees the employer the managers the laborers and each and every person who is working in the organization so here when we go with that we are supposed to take care of three things the firstly is to understand the health and safety responsibility of employers, managers, supervisors and all other people who are working in the organization. So that is the first prime motto. The second one is implement personal management. That is what personal means staff. Staff management about the policies of the organization that is implement personal staff that is personal management policies to ensure that everyone in the workplace is aware of his or her responsibility. See here, HR manager cannot act like a doctor. That is correct. But HR managers should actually preach each and every individual to take care of their own responsibility to the maximum. And what is that HR manager can actually do is he can see the condition of the place and he can actually file a report saying is it safe for the people to work or not. So we can have a modulation of the safety measures also. The third is establish effective way of meeting health and safety responsibility. So whenever we take this topic of health and safety responsibility, I, I always quote an incident which happened in 1984 in Bhopal. Now it happened in Madhya Pradesh 
in India in the year 1984 if I need to be very precise I tell you 2nd and 3rd December so a pesticide company where the leakage of the gas happened and nearby people who were sleeping in the footpath sleeping in their houses and homes now what happened was they couldn't get up the next morning the reason was the lack of safety measures taken by the management now understand here once life goes you can't bring it back that is what the responsibility of a human resource manager that is he should check that whether safety is taken or not though the safety manager will be there safety manager is there to see whether the products are proper or not but a human resource manager should be there to see that whether the employees are safe or not now it happened in the midnight it happened in the midnight nobody was there working in the organization except the security guards no security guard was alive the people who were nearby the pesticide plant they all were dead and what led to the leakage it's a question mark but who is to be blamed that is what you are supposed to understand that's why you are a hr manager of industries or you are a hr manager of a company whichever sector you go the first thing is the safety of your employees and laborers should be your prime motto the next one we have few guidelines here that is the general guidelines which we are supposed to go with the minute i'm telling you that being a hr manager you are supposed to have all these responsibility yes that is one side it is true but the other side is you should make people also feel that they are also responsible for their own life so you should actually mentor them you should actually tell them that what exactly they are supposed to do and what they are not supposed to do that is the general guidelines which you are supposed to give it to them the first one here is preventing work related injuries and illness now this covid we have this covid 19 the more people are working in the organization definitely there will be a spread wide spread of covid 19 that's the reason a hr manager he has taken a decision that people shouldn't come to the organization they should work from home the concept is what because of the general guidelines fostering a workplace safety culture in which employees and their supervisors work together to ensure workplace safety so the first prime motto is what there should not be any injuries there should not be a spread of illness there should be a very healthy atmosphere in the workplace third is to establish and the administrative procedure so how to go with these things so the hr manager should give the rules and regulations the rules and regulations the norms should be set what should be set the norms should be set through administrative procedures that encourage employees to report unsafe conditions now we don't know everything we don't know everything so what is that we should do is we need to give that kind of a little lenience to the employees to say that what is safe and what is not safe and they should report for whatever is unsafe which is happening in the organization to the hr manager so the, it is the hr manager who should give the rules and regulation the norms and he should put a administrative practice where he can get more feedback about how to make the organization safe and secure for the employees developing appropriate hiring training performance appraisal practice if you hire people who are well-being of themselves as well as they know to take care of the organization that time what happens is hr managers duty will be reduced so you should actually hire and you should train your employees next is recruiting and retaining understand here retaining employees is very difficult recruiting new employees is very easy you need to always retain your employees labor turnover should not be more how the labor turnover will be more if you don't give them a proper safe work or a workplace where they are secure now they will never go now that is the thing here retain your best employees who care about their own well-being and well-being of 
co-worker so you should know that who the person is retain those people retain those people who are giving productivity to your organization and check whether they are safe or not ensuring that the health and safety policies now here many of the organization policies are what they do the health insurance and all those things as a hr manager it is your duty to actually give the policies a standard type of policy to your employees so that they can be secured and procedure conform with the applicable occupational health and safety legislation and accept best practice in similar organization see here legislation in the sense what the government is also encouraging the employer to secure their employees now as a hr manager you are supposed to know that what are the measures safety measures you are supposed to take so that there should not be any occupational hazards helping reduce costs associated with loss due to absenteeism injuries workers compensation disability and health care there are n number of examples which i can give it to you where the industries where manufacturing takes place many workers have lost their hand their arm their leg they would have even lost their life so what is that you are supposed to go with you are see we cannot give life to life right so that's the reason you are supposed to go with at least what the compensation for the family so all these things so before that only you are supposed to take care or you are supposed to have a measure saying that nothing like this should happen in the organization so it is not about cure it is about prevention is better than cure so that is what the general guidelines as a hr manager you are supposed to know the last one we have in the general guidelines is establishing procedure for enforcing company safety rules so you need to enforce the company safety rules in your organization maintaining records of injuries now injuries will happen you can only reduce it but you can't avoid it injuries will happen injuries illness and workers compensation so you should have a book keeping where you will record the injuries the with the date what really was the cause all these things you will record the illness each and everything you will record coordinating first aid training and provision see that is what i was telling you about it as a hr manager you should also know how to go with the first aid because the minute you know about or you get that curiosity to know what exactly the first aid everything is you feel like treating people in the organization if you know little bit providing advice to employees and employer in matter of occupational health and safety so you should actually give adequate information to your people so that they'll get to know what are the things can happen in the organization if they will not follow few rules and regulations and the norms so these are the general guidelines as a hr manager you are supposed to adapt it as well as you are supposed to communicate to your organization employees so any doubt regarding this session please do call us we are always there to help you but what i always suggest you is being a hr manager or you are not an hr manager health and safety is always a prime motto thank you so much i'll see you when i see you